This video will show you the simplest, quickest method to animate a sprite in Pico 8. I have a couple other videos on this, but I think this is the most simple technique, cuts out a lot of the fluff, and is super useful. First of all, we need something to animate. So this is like kind of a little bonus thing. I'm going to animate just a flame, and I'll show you a little secret for animating things that uh, are, you know, organic or kind of have particles, that kind of thing, without actually using particles. I'm going to start with this orange, and I'm just going to start with like a circle like this, and we're going to animate this over probably like three or four frames here. And we're going to start with kind of the main part, and I'll just hit Control C and then paste this, Control V, and I'm going to right click in the black and just make this a little bit smaller and select it and just move it up. Maybe move it up too, like this. Again, copy and paste this. Again, I'll make this a little smaller and maybe we'll maybe we'll even make it kind of sideways like this and move it up and maybe to the right a little bit. So if you kind of follow this, it goes up like this and then it will disappear. All right. So this is like one part of the fire. Now let's make another part and I'm just going to do it in a different color just so we can see it really easily. On this third frame, let's make let's make another kind of big part here. This, let's say on frame 4, it goes up like that. So now the green kind of goes up like that too. So now we have the orange going up and the green going up too. Before the green, we're going to have the green kind of grow like that. And before the orange, we're going to have the orange grow like this. And so now we have this in a way that kind of loops and we have kind of the basics of our animation here. Let's add one more. Maybe let's just do this with blue. And why don't we do it like right here? This again, we'll start the blue here. We'll have the blue go up and maybe up a little more than that. And we'll have it kind of fade out at the top like that. So each thing has like four frames and we're just following each one up like that. And now we can kind of use this as a guide for the shape of our sprite here. So we're going to kind of fill this in with orange and then put some yellow sort of in the middle like this and some white on top of that. Let's always make this a little bit more pointy. Same thing here. We'll just kind of kind of connect this a little bit like that. Always make it a little pointy. Same thing here. Just kind of filling in this basic shape and just kind of connecting these roughly. Do one of these kind of things and we'll fill this in with orange. Just get some nice kind of fire going. Yeah. So now we have this kind of dancing flame that has this kind of organic movement. Okay, so there's our animation and it's over five frames. It starts with frame one, then it goes two, three, four, and five. Now to animate through this, what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable for this frame number and we're going to make that variable put a different sprite into our sprite draw command, but we're not going to do it every frame. We're going to do it slower than our frame rate. So here's how we do that. Let's just do function underscore init like this and function draw. We could put update, but we're not going to really put anything in update for this specific thing. First thing we're going to do is clear our screen, CLS like this, and then we do SPR for Sprite. And let's just start with Sprite 1. And we're going to put that right in the middle just for this demo here, 63 comma 63. That'll put it pretty much in the middle. Save and run. Puts that little flame in the middle. Yay, we did it. Okay, so now we're going to make a variable and we'll just call this frame for now. We'll just call this frame equals one. And so instead of sprite one, we'll just say frame. This will do the same thing. It just loads that frame sprite one. And if we switch frame to be something else like two, that will load frame two. So during our draw command, we could do something like if frame is less than, so our highest frame is frame five. So if it's less than six, ooh, yeah, less than five, then frame plus equals one else frame equals zero. And what this is going to do is every frame, <laughs> actually, this is really confusing. Let's just say SP for Sprite. Just say SP. Okay. We'll just replace this all with SP like that. It's going to work the same. But when I run this, it's going to run through one through five for this SP. And it's going to very, very quickly go through our frames. So save run and it's animating, but it's way too fast, right? Looks nice. Actually, the animation still looks good, but it's way too fast. So how do we slow this down? And actually we want this to go back to frame one, save run like this. Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is instead of plus equals one, we could do plus equals 0.1. So let's see what happens now. Save run. And now this animates a lot slower, but there is a problem. It has this little jerky movement right at the end where it just goes kabloop. And the reason for that is because what's happening is SP is adding 0.1 for every frame. That means every 10 frames, it goes up a whole number. And so, you know, a few frames into this, this is going to be, you know, like 2.6. And what it's going to do is round it down 
two, two. And then once it gets to 2.7, that's going to be two. 2.8 is going to be two. 2.9 is going to be two. Three is going to be three. But we're telling it if it's less than five, so that means 4.9, is going to be four and then it's going to bring it up one that's going to bring it to frame five and then the very next frame it's not less than five so it switches it back to one so we only see this last sprite for one frame so one thirtieth of a second which is why it's kind of tweaking out so all we have to do is say if sprite is less than 5.9 and that is going to give us can actually replace our sprite here save run and that is going to give us a nice animation that actually runs through with good timing now let's make this a little bit faster. Let's do twice as fast, so 0.2. And the only difference here is we have to adjust this, this decimal here to be basically six minus whatever this is, right? And we could automate this first, you know, and do something like speed equals 0.2, something like that. So sprite plus equals speed. And then this could be, you know, like six minus speed, and that would work. Speed equals 0.2, save run. And now that's going to work the same way. And now we have this little animated flame, pretty cool. Let's make this a little bit faster. Let's say 0.3, save run. So yeah, we can adjust the speed now to whatever we want. We can adjust that animation speed. So that looks pretty cool. And I'm thinking like 0.3 is about where we wanna be. And we got a cool little flame there. Isn't that awesome? But yeah, this is how I've been animating stuff lately. Let's just start this with sprite one. Is we set our initial sprite and we set our speed and we just say if our sprite is less than our maximum sprite minus our speed, then we up it by our speed every frame or else we go back to the start and it does that rounding and stuff for us. So very simple, but a really great way to animate things in Pico 8. And hey, if you're new to Pico 8, make sure to check out my Pico 8 Essentials Workshop. That's a workshop that goes over the basics of Pico 8, some of the most need to know stuff, and I'm giving you access for free. You can click the link right here or down in the description. Hey, if this was helpful for you, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're working on and what you want to make in Pico 8. Very excited to share that with you. So yeah, thanks for watching.